Easy Ben Davidson, subscribe to Spirit Nikon. Okay, so Tyson Fury has just done an interview, which I've seen on BT Sport. I'll put a link to it in the description box, where he says that because Usyk is, isn't going to be ready to fight him in December, he's going to take another fight. Now, of course, we all know the reason why Usyk isn't going to be ready for December. He said he's carrying some injuries. He's been in a um, very, very long training camp. And of course, he wants to spend some time with his family. Again, anybody who says Usyk's ducking him, come on, man, this is a man who's travelled to champions' backyards time and time again. He ain't afraid of Tyson Fury, that's for sure. So anyway, for Tyson Fury, this isn't quite clearly, he's not retiring, right? He's going to have another fight. So I don't quite know what his rush is, but either way, he says he wants to be out ASAP. He's going to be fighting and defended his WBC heavyweight world title. So in which case, he can only fight those in currently in the top 15 of the WBC. Exceptional rules may be bent. Of course, if you want to fight somebody, they may well appear magically in the top 15. We know what WBC is like, but on the current top 15, let's go through them. So number one, Deontay Wilder, unlikely. Obviously, he's got that fight coming up with Robert Hellenius on October 15th. So that would rule him out. Plus, he's going to be fighting the winner of Andy Ruiz Jr., Luis Ortiz, which will be happening later on tonight. So we can rule out Deontay Wilder. Number two, Joe Joyce. No, he's going to be fighting Joseph Parker on the... Uh, 24th of this month. So that's very unlikely. It's possible if Joe Joyce comes through that and doesn't pick up any kind of injuries or anything like that. It's, it's possible. It's possible as um, it is a Queensbury fighter. Queensbury versus Queensbury, right? But very unlikely. Joseph Parker, again, if Joseph Parker was to win, we know there's going to be a rematch clause with Joe Joyce. And Joseph Parker, of course, is best friends with Fury. They both said they're not going to fight each other anyway. So we can rule out Parker. Number four, Frank Sanchez. Again, he's a PBC fighter of sorts, but he will go from network to network. He has quite recently fought a couple of fights over on DAZN on the matchroom side of things. So that's a possibility, but will the PBC allow him to move over again? It's possible. It's possible. So I think we could probably green light Frank Sanchez, maybe. Andy Ruiz Jr., as I said before, he's going to be busy with um, Luis Ortiz later on today. And then he'll take on the winner of Wilder and Hellenius. Number six, Arsene Beck Makhmadov. That's a possibility. Magmadov, undefeated fighter. He is going to be taking on Carlos Takam on, I believe it's the 16th of this month. So that may lead enough time if Fury's going to be fighting, say, toward the end of December. Again, Magmadov, he's a Russian fighter with a Canadian nationality, but he's also now a top rank fighter. So again, if Fury is still going to be working with top rank, that would be somewhat of an easy fight to make. It's an in-house fight. So I think we could green light Arsene Beck Magmadov. A rematch with Dylan White. Straight away, no, I wouldn't have thought so. I think we could rule out Diddy White for now. Luis Ortiz, again, as I said before, with the Andy Ruiz Jr., Wilder, and Helene situation. That ain't going to happen. Number 10, Otto Wallin. A rematch, possibly. Maybe Fury may look at that fight and think, well, after what happened last time, where a lot of people feel that the fight should have been stopped and Otto Wallin should have got the win, he did cut me up badly. Why not? Let's go in there and do an absolute job on him this time. So maybe that's a possibility. Why not? I'm sure Otto Wallin would be up for it. And of course, it's good preparation while he waits for Usyk as Wallin is a southpaw. That would make all the sense in the world for him to take on Otto Wallin in a rematch. Why not? Number 11, Martin Bacoli. I'd love to see that fight. But again, unlikely Martin Bacoli is currently in camp with Joseph Parker. So in other words, he's going to be hanging around Tyson Fury. He's in camp with Joseph Parker to help him prepare for the Joe Joyce fight. Number 12, Zan Kosobuski. I don't know if he's still promoted by Queensbury, Frank Warren. I know he was at, um, at one point, and I haven't seen anything to say that he's not anymore, even though he's never appeared on a Queensbury show. But if he still is, Kosobuski, to my knowledge, doesn't have a fight coming up. That would make sense. Why not? Kosobuski is an undefeated fighter as well. Why not? Okay, so if he is still a Queensbury fighter, again, in-house fight should be quite easy to make, you would think. Number 13, Michael Hunter. Again, he's busy with um, his uh, fight with Tarson's cousin, Huey. That's coming up on October the 29th, I think it is. So we can rule out Michael Hunter. Number 14, Fedor Perkovic. He just went through life and death with Zili Zhang. So very unlikely, very, very unlikely he's going to be taking on Tyson Fury. He's obviously going to be resting up a bit. But again, I mean, it's possible. But again, let's not forget, Perkovic is a matchroom fighter and a Wasserman fighter. Being Wasserman wouldn't be a problem, but the fact that he's matchroom, we all know wrong side of the street kind of stuff. I don't agree with it, but it's 
it's unlikely that they're going to reach out to Filip Herkovic. And number 15, Derek Chisora. Could they resurrect that one? Could he improve the two million offer or actually send through a contract this time? Maybe. Obviously, Tarsen Fury, he wants that trilogy. He does. So possible, possible for Derek Chisora. Derek Chisora still currently doesn't have an opponent. Um, outside other fighters, again, the WBC, they haven't updated their rankings. The best part was it six weeks now. I don't know what's taking him so long. So maybe he could go fight another southpaw in Zinni Zhang. Why not? Why not? If you're Tyson Fury, you want to use this time to prepare for Usyk, a southpaw fighter. That's why I'm thinking Otto Wallin would make the most sense. Don't be surprised if Tyson Fury takes on Otto Wallin. If not, I imagine it's probably going to be Arsene Bik Makhmadov. Now, maybe just outside of the top 15, Ajit Kabiel, who's currently sat at number 16, maybe he could be boosted into the top 15. We know that uh, these guys were talking about that fight a little while ago. So maybe, maybe. But unlikely, I mean, Ajit Kabiel, one of the most inactive fighters I think I've ever seen in the heavyweight division. This is a guy who's only had five fights in five years. Honestly. But anyway, we'll have to wait and see. Um, for my money, it will be between Otto Wallin, Arsenbek Makhmadov and Zaren Kosobuski with an outside possibility of a Derek Chisora. So out of the top 15, those four would be the possibility with an addition, as a Kabiel, if they can get him pushed into the top 15. That's how I think it will go down. What's your thoughts? Who do you want to see Tyson Fury fight? Who do you think he should fight in preparation for Usyk? As I said, for me, Otto Wallin. Get that rematch done. But anyway, my thoughts, you drop me yours. Click thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the next video.